previously on beer and board games, dummy. Trump, the board game. Oh, what a time. I'm loving the Trump game. Ooh, wonderful. If you've ever wanted to know how to be a winner, put a box on your body. Ever since we played that Trump game, I've been totally out of work, but like, I've been enjoying myself a lot. Why? Because I'm fun employed. Fun employed, fun employed. Admiral seeks house to let. If you don't have any work to do, you should at least have some beer. Who could possibly get us beer at this hour? Fiore! Is hot mir gut gefallen. This show is sponsored by the makers of Fun Employed, and you can find out more about them at urbanislandgames.com. They're swell. Thanks, Fun Employed. Tonight we're drinking pumpkin ale from the Smutty Nose Brewing Company. Hmm. Ale brewed with pumpkin puree and spices. Now, I've never heard the word puree on a beer before. It has a weird perfume aftertaste. Oh, great. It's very unpleasant. Thank you. I'm, I, it's accurate. Perfume. I like it quite a bit. He likes it. One person is the interviewer. There are cards that are set out. Everybody gets a few cards, and then you can look at your cards. You can look at those cards that are there, and you can take one of those instead of the ones that you have. Do you use the cards in front of you to create a person that's applying for that job? The goal of the game is to build up your resume and get hired for as many jobs as possible. Let's get out there Let's do into this. the job market. Personal trainer. Are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm applying for the job of personal trainer. Mm -hmm. What is your name? R Ronald Jenkins. I'm shaved. Why is that helpful? There's no unsightly body hairs on me for anybody that I'm training to get distracted <clears throat> by. I'm very shallow. You know, don't tell me about your family and your wife. No one wants to hear about that. Just exercise. Mm -hmm. And I'm very effeminate. <laughs> oh, you're applying for my uh, personal trainer position? That is correct. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Trump. Trump who? Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't recognize my voice. I am a captain of industry. All right. So I know what it takes to make you not a loser. As you can see, I have a comb over. <laughs> my hair looks ridiculous. And this will improve your self-esteem. I am very passive aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I am emotionally hollow. <laughs> so I will turn a deaf ear to your pleas for mercy. I will let you know. Thank is, you very much. Is the personal trainer job still open? It is, yes. Hi, Thank great. You. Eric Lundvigsen, I'm ready to go. I will whip you into shape, whatever shape you want to well. be. Yes, I'm here to stay. Green card, don't worry. I'm not going to stay You're out of the training. Oh, I'm tired. I'm pregnant. Whatever. I don't care. This is Trump, difficult, Trump, you guys. Trump. I like the idea that you said whatever shape you want to be, you'll make it happen. You get the job. Nailed it! Thank Loser! You. This past week, I received a very strange email. Hello, Matt. My name is Shaiwana, and back in 2001, I was honored to play a small non-speaking role in one of your short films slash shows, mm -hmm. The Great Great Godfather, filmed in Newark, Delaware, at the Assisted Living Home. <laughs> I wanted to know if I could purchase a copy of that for my children to see. I've searched the internet endlessly to no avail. Thank you for your time. I don't know who this woman is. I never made such a film. I had no idea how to respond, so I responded like this. Mm. Shaiwana. Thank you for participating in my film, The Great Great <laughs> oh my God. I have many fond memories of that shoot, in particular the climactic final scene. Unfortunately, all copies of the film were destroyed in a barn fire in 2005. <laughs> It lives on only in our memories and the memories of the staff at, of the assisted living home in Newark. I'm just about to begin production on another film slash show, and I have a part for you if you're interested. <laughs> it's another small, non-speaking role, but I think you would be perfect. She writes back. I'm so sorry to hear that all the copies were destroyed. <laughs> Will you be filming here in Delaware again on the new production? And I respond. No, we will be filming in the Cayman Islands in the Caribbean. Can you make it? It's a silent role, but there are several bits of comic business for you to do. Pratt falls and such. <laughs> You'll be great. <laughs> she has yet to respond. Oh, but yeah. We'll see how the Shaiwana saga continues wow. in a future episode. Pratt falls and such. You are applying for the job of televangelist. The best mm -hmm. way to mm -hmm. make tax-free dollars in our country. My name is Rutherford. 
Buford, and I'm here to help you in your mission. I can bring a chastity belt. Oh, very good, yep. I can put that on any woman within arm's reach. You put it on her personally? I do, every day. <laughs> Some people say they have nuggets of wisdom. I have apples of wisdom, and I can share them all with you. I'd love to hear one right now. When you gather wheat, do not forget Sorry. to put the wheat away. Think about it. I feel mesmerized. And most importantly, as the Bible says, the devil will come like a thief in the night, and I have night vision. I will see him coming, and I will say, devil, I see you. You could preemptively <laughs> strike the devil. I will visit upon him a patriot missile of the Lord. Next. Hello, friend. Hello. How are you? I'm lacking a televangelist. Oh. My name is Alfred, Alfred Mann, amen for short. I'm here to let you know that I can see the here and now with my x-ray vision. Give me an Alfred Mann, amen, thank you. I will make everybody comfortable. I'll sit on a stool. Can I, see, I get a stool? I see the light. Can I get a stool? I see the stool. Can I get a stool? Stool. Alfred Mann, thank you, amen. Because we're good, decent folk. Plus, a little bit extra, just a tip. Just a tip, we call it seed money, seed from the tip. Well, hey there, Sugar. My name is Debbie Lynn, and I'm here to help you find your way to God. I had a sad childhood. <laughs> I grew up in West Virginia as a Jew. I had no idea the Lord was out there. I grew up not even knowing about Christ, not even knowing about him, but I found him. And I realized I need to go out into the field and I need to talk to people. I need to touch them. And I try to use my evil laugh to <laughs> say to them, <laughs> we all have the devil in us, but we need to push him out. We need to push out the devil. <laughs> and then I will take everyone onto my spaceship and I will say, <laughs> <laughs> you want to find God? You will come with me into the stars. You have a tough choice in front this of you. This is a very tough choice. I gotta go with you, you, ch you oh. mesmerized me. Yep. Alfred Thank Men, you, friend. an archeologist. Mm. What's this, blank? Oh dear. I don't know what that is. It's a blank, I can fill in with whatever I want. Send in the first applicant, please. Great, hi, hello, is this? Are, were you looking for the archaeologist? What, what, welcome to Tunisia. You're not always going to find what you're looking for on your dig. Sometimes there will be bodies, or sometimes there's muck, sometimes there's less, sometimes flies. Don't worry, I'm there. To I mean, swat flies. Yeah, to swat flies. No, not to swat okay, flies. Well, I've got a minion for that. What do that. you do? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> yes. I found the motherfucking holy grail. <laughs> I'm sorry, were you looking for a skull? I, I'm listening. I will take you past skull. To Holy Grail. I'd like to Holy Grail and a skull, to be quite honest. But but I, go on. Archaeology is like crack for me. Like I cannot like get enough. Crack. You're it's not addicted like crack. to crack. <laughs> no. Um. No. Let's say no. I, I sensed a little hesitation in your voice. Right. But no. Just. Do you have thirty bucks? <laughs> this whole Holy Grail thing could be a crack fantasy. Right. <laughs> but the Holy Grail of crack. Hi, my name is Deborah, and I am so excited. I would love to be your archaeologist. I am going to start off by letting you know. How Did you say you're going to shart off? I'm going to start <laughs> off. That would be very I think inappropriate. I have a hard time thinking that maybe you don't hear very well, so I'm just going to speak up a little bit. I. As long as you don't shart off. Well, let me tell you something. I'm sneaky. I find bones where nobody else finds bones. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying, you know why? I'm usually topless. And when they do know that I'm there, they're too distracted to know that I'm stealing their bones. Nobody is even gonna know, and I'm gonna drive them off, because okay. I'm amazing. All right, well, put your top back on. Are you sure you want me to do that? I've seen enough. I'm applying for the archaeologist. Yes, hello, uh, your name is? Uh, Ronnie Jefferson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> I'm very interested in archaeology that searches for good times in Tijuana. What you're saying is you're going to take me out in Tijuana to bars. Archaeology. <laughs> okay. We'll wear fishnet stockings. Mm. So hang on a second. Yes. You had a wild card, <laughs> and you went with fishnet stockings. Oh, yes. I know archaeology. Trust me. I also have crabs. <laughs> yeah. I have a coat hanger. Get out of my office. <laughs> I just, I just want to have sex. That crack don't look so bad, does it? I get the job, right? All right, I'm gonna hire the topless bone thief.
you're not gonna get any state secrets. <laughs> what? Either steak sauce or state secrets. But you're I'm not gonna get any secrets. state secrets out you're of me, You're not gonna get buddy, any steak sauce. Unless you tickle my left thigh. Oh. And then I'm in trouble. But that's the only thing. I have an idea for a variation. Let's do it. All right. You tell us what the card is, we build our hand, and then you throw out the card and pick another one, and Ooh. we have to use that hand. Yeah, like Who that. are you all of a sudden? Nice. Motivational speaker. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not looking for a motivational speaker. <gasps> I'm looking for an altar boy. Uh-oh. Oh, Why wow. did I take handcuffs? <laughs> <laughs> Religion has been changing. I'm like an altar boy scientist, because okay. I've been performing experiments. I call it handcuff worship, where you just get cuffed to that pew, and you're there for as long as you can stand. If you don't find the Lord, if you don't get saved, I got a consolation prize for you. A fruit basket. And a card that says you're going to purgatory? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Hi. Are I'm you looking still for an altar for boy. Great. I've just heard a, a little bit about the position. What position was that? The altar boy position? Oh, 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 oh right, right. Just altar sort of boy. your, your okay. standard position. <laughs> yes, yes, right. I'm really looking for something to uh, whip me into shape. A lot of people are going to try to sell you on the new ways of altar boys. No. Like, a, a, I'm more old school. Like, even, even just canings. You know, mm -hmm. just take Whips, the cane to me if I canes. don't do well. Yeah, it's not really for everybody. Uh, maybe just like only 1% of us, but those of us who but can take it. But they're a very special 1% that can take it. Yeah. Hi. Hello, welcome. You know, first of all, I'm a little more traditional. I wear oh, the vest, yes. the jacket, the whole shebang. I thought maybe my drug habit would be a problem. <laughs> but then I thought you could rehabilitate me. And I thought maybe in exchange, I could do something for you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that is, if anyone asked me about it, I wouldn't say anything, you know? <laughs> I gotta go with the more subtle... Canes and whips? <laughs> Canes and whips. You look quite muscular too. How do you keep, how do you get those muscles? Here's my philosophy. You want to wear a hat, you got to work the lats. So anytime I dress casual, you go to the gym. That makes no fucking sense at all. <laughs> we made our fifth milestone on Patreon. We're gonna get new cameras for beer and board games. We're gonna oh get wow. brand new cameras that are gonna have higher quality. <gasps> we have started saving up for this we and have. we will have them in time for the new season next year. And it's because of you guys and we really appreciate that. Hey! Cheers! Patreon! Patreon. Thank you! I'm hiring a professional athlete. Supposedly. I'm gonna keep it as is. I'm ready. I'm sorry. <gasps> We're actually looking for a psychic. I'm ready for the first applicant. Hi. I'm proud of you for admitting that you need a psychic. It shows a lot of self-respect. What are you looking for a psychic to do for you? Uh, <laughs> tell the future, uh, mm -hmm. you know, read mm -hmm. minds and shit like that. Tell the future, read minds, <laughs> shit like that? Yeah. I don't appreciate the profanity, but mm. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a job interview. A little yeah, more professionalism. You have four cards, probably not getting the job. Okay. Just saying, just throwing it out there. I appreciate the challenge. Why? Because I smoke that grass, baby, <laughs> all day long. Are you holding? Always. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll talk later. Next. Hi, my name is Genevieve. <laughs> I have so much to offer you as a psychic. First thing is a fancy hat. I'm gonna let you know <laughs> that nobody trusts a fancy hat. Like, wait, I mean the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody doesn't, doesn't trust, trust a fancy, fancy hat. hat. To show people that I'm really maybe special is that I also can grow a beard. Like a circus freak. Like an amazing person. I can really make the atmosphere feel real. And I can really just <laughs> bring people into the present. You don't need to be a psychic to know that you have an uncontrollable gas. People think I'm amazing. <laughs> Window open. Fan turned on. Yeah, that's a ghost. That's not me. That's a <laughs> Please leave. Hello, I'm I'm here for the psychic job. Yes, you look like an intense young man. I am. I have a very heavy flow. <laughs> <laughs> a flow of psychic energy? Exactly. All right. I can bring it from the back in the ages. You can bring it. I do, I bring it. <laughs> I can fly. That says flies. I 
I flies. <laughs> One might say that's better than just being able to fly. I'm also a sexual Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> Done. But. No, he won. But. He won. Get the hell out of my building, Farty. Undoubtedly. <laughs> I have a problem with my GI tract. I know, and when right. you're in my office, we both have a problem. <sighs> This game is insanely fun to play. It is fun to play. I'm enjoying it. The final round. Stunt double! I'm kosher, so when I do the stunts, like I do them in a kosher fashion, which is his what? character which is what? would do. Which is what? It's like, you know, I fall easily, and then when I come back, <laughs> I, I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very good at Hocus Pocus. Yes. I can make things look like a stunt that aren't, like falling in a well. I can make it look stunt like I'm falling in a well yes. when I'm not actually falling in a well. I, what? Are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm really feeling poorly. Excuse me for just a moment. Whee! <laughs> Is he shitting his pants? Okay. Be honest with me. <laughs> Is he okay? He wouldn't leave unless he needed oh my God. to. <laughs> You okay? I'm great. Were you gonna pee yourself? Was no. That the issue? Yes. Okay. I'm not gonna waste your time. I appreciate You're that. You're a wise man. You I wouldn't am. make a stupid decision. Because for me, stunts are a piece of cake. I do the stunt. I take a bow. I take a lap. Ding dong. <laughs> bing bong. Good night. <laughs> oh shit! Wow. He nailed it. I think you'd make a terrible stunt double. <laughs> <laughs> But I appreciate your brevity. You've got the job. No, but I, w I, wow. but I was kosher. Folks, we had a good time tonight. Fun employed was more fun than being employed. The Trump game? Don't be intimidated by the instruction booklet. Follow your heart. If you're wondering what the benefits of a nutcracker would be, is that it crackers your nuts. Thank you for joining us for beer and board games. You dummies. Now go back to your <laughs> miserable lives. Ah, oh, ding, ding, ding.